The following is from Lieutenant Dick Dowling's first-hand report on the Second Battle of Sabine Pass that he gave to his commanding officer, Captain F. H. Odlum. On the morning of the 8th, the U.S. gunboat Clifton anchored opposite the lighthouse and fired 26 shells at the fort, most of which passed a little over or fell short, all, however, in excellent range. During this time, we had not replied by a single shot. All was then quiet until 9 o'clock, at which time the gunboat Uncle Ben steamed down near the fort. The U.S. gunboat Sachem opened on her with a 30-pounder parrot gun. She fired three shots, but without effect, the shots all passing over the fort and missing the bin. The whole fleet then drew off and remained out of range until 3.40, when the Sachem in Arizona steamed in to line up the Louisiana Channel. The Clifton and one boat, name unknown, remaining at the junction of the two channels. I allowed the two former boats to approach within 1,200 yards when I opened fire with the whole of my battery on the foremost boat, the Sachem, which after the third or fourth round hoisted the white flag. The Clifton, in the meantime, had attempted to pass up through the Texas Channel, but receiving a shot which carried away her tiller rope, she became unmanageable and grounded about 500 yards below the fort, which enabled me to concentrate all my guns on her. She withstood our fire for some 25 or 35 minutes when she also hoisted a white flag. During the time she was aground, she used grape, and her sharpshooters poured an incessant shower of mini balls into the works. The fight lasted from the time I fired the first gun until the boat surrendered. That was about three quarters of an hour. I immediately boarded the captured Clifton and proceeded to inspect her magazines, accompanied by one of the ship's officers, and discovered it safe and well stocked with ordnance stores. I did not visit the magazine of the Sachem. The Confederate States gunboat Uncle Ben steamed down to the Sachem and towed her into the wharf her magazine destroyed by the enemy flooding it. Thus it will be seen we captured 47 men with four gunboats, mounting 13 guns of the heaviest caliber and about 350 prisoners. All my men behaved like heroes. Not a man flinched from his post. Our motto was victory or death.